needs to tell me about the minstrel rattleman. We see, we know. What's inside? Please. Something over there.
Give it a shot. Maybe I need more pockets. Minsk puts on quite a show of brawn. I mean, I hate to judge. What's this? You ain't supposed to be down here, mate. You spot a curious metal contraption in the water. A submersible. No news is good news, right? Especially with the rough water between here and the Iron Throne. No prisoners lost in the last batch of runs either, though them servants of Umbly are making the trip damn near deadly. 
bloody salt is always flopping around in the water. I've almost hit one or two now. Might have even nicked one off the port bow the other day. Maybe that'll teach them to keep out of the way. Gondians, mostly. Collateral to keep those working in the Steel Watch foundry under control. It's an underwater prison, most secure in the realms. Myself and Cap are the only ones who can make it there in one piece. Do you now? Boss never sends anyone that away but prisoners. The Jableda's on you. Look, I don't want any trouble, but I know old Gortash is up to some mad shit in there. I'll take you in. But look, there's some bad shit going down in there. You don't want to get involved. Neither did I, but it was them or me. I'll get Cat warmed up. Get in when you're ready. Aren't you the intrepid little adventurer, digging and diving where you don't belong? And I thought we were friends. Ha! Are you now? Set foot within the Iron Throne and you will die, as will all of the hostages inside. How many people are trapped within? How many lives will be lost? That was a mistake. When the corpses start to wash up on the shore, remember, you could have prevented all this. Go time.
stand in my way. Goodness sake. By the gods, an ally! Free us to fight! <laughs> Finally! My deepest thanks to you.
Need to hurry. Get away from these fish freaks. Look who it is. I was hoping you'd bound along. A bargain's a bargain, and I've come to see it through. Mia Furia. Kneel for me. If only Will were here to see this. This is what he wanted, after all. Now, stand back and enjoy the show.
surrender. Someone inside out.
calmness greets you as the submersible slows to a halt. Unlike the Iron Throne, you remain intact. It seems most of the hostages from the throne share your fate. Duke Ravenguard approaches you, looking confused. He's tadpole, but under my protection now, just like you. His mind is his own again. I'm free, in my own mind again, holy. I will not take it for granted. You acted quickly, decisively, and compassionately. I, nay, all of us owe you no less than our undying gratitude. My thoughts are my own now, and my purpose certain. I will wait at your camp. We can speak more there. I just... I... I can't thank you enough. I was certain that place was to be my cold, wet tomb. There were so many of us scattered through that place. To save so many was... It was brilliant. Just brilliant. We were kept hostage to control our families and the Steel Watch Foundry to keep them building Gortash's death machines. Please. They need to know what happened here. They have no reason to obey Gortash anymore. If they rebel, it'll put a dent in Gortash's steel might. Gon smiles on me this day. Thank you. shall be here in thy camp, for whenever very well. Hast thou seen the futility of thy action? That dost thou need my then thou must this is the price of that well by doom and dusk I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. Is that blood? No, never mind. Very well. The bay is tainted with black blood. The Wave Mother's citizens wither and choke. Did you do this? So often the Wave Mother pays the price for the sins of men. But you killed the Beast's master. You've earned this. The restoration of the harbor will take a long time. Black blood clings and stinks like death itself. With the Bitch Queen's blessings, we take our leave.
Something's on my mind. First you cleave my heart in twain, now you shatter it to pieces. My son, a monster. Twist it beyond recognition. To think my blood flows through those veins. Is this my fate? To be freed from Gortash's hell, only to be trapped in yours? It isn't what you think. It never was. You turned your back on me, on your city, to chase the she-devil and her power. She stinks up the place even now. It is exactly what I think. Raven God's tadpole clenches as your memories and wills flow into him. My tears wounds. I'm in your mind. The Grand Duke sees Mizura and her infernal sisters. He sees the agony in Will's face as an impossible choice is set before him. No. My son. The past becomes present, and Will's thoughts are laid bare. Ravenguard sees Will partnering with Mazora to defeat Tiamat's cultists before they could lay siege to Baldur's Gate, and he sees everything beyond. The Nautiloid journey. The perilous path to Moonrise, the astral prison, and the Emperor within. Well, everything I did, I did for Baldur's Gate. I did for you. All too right, my son. You sold your soul to save Baldur's Gate. And I cast you out for it. You gave yourself to the Hell's eternal fires so I might walk free. By the gods. Can you ever forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. You wanted to protect the city. I only ever wanted the same. You are a better man than most. And a better son than I deserve. I'll yet make amends, but my duty is first and foremost to the city and its people. There's something I must ask of you. Before I was captured, I was on a mission. Returning from Elterel, I discovered the plans of the Absolutists. I immediately realized the city couldn't defend itself against such an army. I didn't despair, because the city has a secret guardian, a worm that sleeps beneath. He can be called upon in times of great need. This is such a time. You've been trained in the ways of the great champions and proven to be one of them. The worm will answer your call. You must seek him out. A bronze dragon, yes. He sleeps beneath us even now. Awaiting a hero to rouse him. The worm goes by many names. Ansur. The waiting storm. The heart of the gate. He promised Baldurin he'd protect the city if ever its existence was threatened. But just the once. Since then, the city has faced countless threats. But we always overcame. There was never a need to call on the worm. Until now, the Absolute is the greatest threat Baldur's Gate ever faced. The Worm must be awakened, and the task falls to you. Take this. The Legend of Ansur. An ancient epic, ill-remembered, dismissed as a mere tale. Let it set the path before you. Thank you. And may the city know the truth of my only son. Pride of Ravenguard. Pride of Baldur's Gate.
I bet you're pleased with yourself. Saving Ravenguard and making a fool out of me in a single swoop. Go on, do your gloating. You've earned it. Damn right I did. My father is safe and my chains are broken. Yes, celebrate your fortunes. But remember that they are lost as quickly as they are gained. For now, you've tipped the scales in your favor. But all it takes is a whisper for me to tip them back. Raven Guard will fall. I will strike when the Duke has the most to lose. And I have the most to gain. Clause A, Section 2. Should Soul Holder choose to abandon his patron, he is freed from his duty. His father, Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard, will be thus fated to die by an enemy's hand. A sealed pact is mightier than even Asmodeus's ruby rod. Do you think by merely saving a duke that you were ripping it through? You're such a witless little thing. Laugh in the face of the Archduchess Zariel. And she only laughs back. By all means. Struggle and seethe when I come for Zariel's prize. Play the hero. Put up a fight. But don't forget who signed away his own father's life when Raven Guards finally bled. I'm afraid that's not an option. I'm quite stubborn, you see. Take a swing or a stab if you want, but I'll just slip away for a breather. One of the perks of being a half-devil, of course. We'll finish what my father couldn't. We'll awaken Ansur, the heart of the gate. I disappointed him once. I won't do it again. Go on, read the legend of Ansur. Then we can plan our next steps. It's complicated. There's the joy of reconciliation, the relief of forgiveness, and the anxiety of new expectation. It's a flurry of emotion. I'm not sure how to make sense of it. Relief. My last seven years have been defined by the secrets I carried. I feel light as a feather now that I've shed them. When I left the city, my father saw only a boy carrying the stench of the hells. Now, he sees the man I made of myself. Once all this is ended, once we've crushed the brain and freed the people, I could once more call Baldur's Gate home. Whether I return there, well, only time will tell. Wormsbrock prison. But what's this of a true hero's spark? Yes? Scarning shape changers. And of course, the fool would follow their every word just because they wear my face. I grow tired of these false faces. Every corner we turn, another. And now it is my face they use to turn Minsk against us. I am sorry, but I am just tired. Oh, a terrible rallying speech. No poetry. 
Not even a little pat on the head. When I left Minsk to this fate, I believed I had no choice. I believe it still. We were ignorant of our enemy, unarmed against the cult. I made the right decision, but I do not like how easily I made it. Minsk would have never left me behind, no matter what happened. That is his problem entire. The past century left Minsk unchanged. And so he believes the world has never changed, that I have not. You saw the fool, hanging on the doppelgangers every word for no other reason than it wears my face. <laughs> you think I flatter myself in believing it is my face alone that Minsk follows? <sighs> Mahler mark me, but I find myself hoping he is tadpole. Come then. We need a lead on where these shapeshifters have fled to. Let's see what hints they left behind in the vault. Whatever happens next, be sure that I will document it all as accurately as possible. 